the record. I'm gonna get the record. I'm gonna get the record. mom is like if i find out you do drugs i'm gonna and then when they have the opportunity but when my mom sat me down and taught me out of love why they shouldn't then when it was around me i didn't make that decision because i knew where the love came from and what my real decision should be and the decision was in my hand so there was no ego or pride being like it's not my mom's or but what i'm saying is i just want to be the one, at least one person I know you did a great job I know Mikey's doing a great job Mikey's great I just want to be at least on the other side of what they're looking at at least one person smiling at them and saying I love of you of course and I, I, I want to listen to you and I want by, by the way you have a big platform there will be a woman that sees us that's contemplating an abortion yeah and I pray and, that she does and I hope she takes a pause and I'm going to be very honest with you. the next nine months will be hard your body will change you're going to go through mood swings and then it's not going to get much easier once the baby comes in but it is worth it beyond anything I can put into words for you to deliver that baby into the world. And you might not feel that for the first year, first two years or three years, four years or five years, but there will be a moment when you wake up and you will feel a, you will feel a significance and accomplishment no, that is greater than any sort of... There's no... I, I've had some amazing things happen in my life, but there's no feeling, and I mean none, like the feeling that when they put your kid in your arms and you hold your kid for the first time there's no feeling like that like none like that is the most amazing feeling you'll ever feel in your whole life you're holding your kid's life in your hand and that's your kid my two kids when they were born, that was the most amazing feeling when I got to hold both of them for the first time. Awesome. Being a CEO of a shoe company or getting an extra bonus of a stock thing or going out clubbing with your friends. Amen. So if that even reaches one woman in this audience, Amen. I pray that it does. And I want you to know that you're loved and you're supported. And finally, there are thousands of what is called pregnancy resource centers which exist to support women in crisis, that they can have the, the, the psychological, religious, spiritual support, diapers, baby formula, whatever you need, and they exist for you. And you have to know that you are not alone and that you can reach out for help and that they tell you that abortion is the only option and that, that is a lie from the pit of hell. You know, and I, I think like, certainly watching you did this with some younger women, you know, in the Jubilee video about abortions. Yeah. What I wish because obviously yes there's those, those cases the one percent right where it comes from a really poor situation which is really awful but for all the others who choose it because you're like well i'm too young what am i going to do my life is over or exactly. i can't go through this i just i wish there was a resource where women could learn new understanding and the mean of it you know and i think I know. and unfortunately i also think that that comes from the wisdom of god because he lets us understand that it's not just ourselves and that we are not living a selfish life, but we're supposed to live our lives for others and we're supposed to serve others. And that if we had more, and I, I just, I, I wish that if women were able to get that understanding from the Lord, the love from the <coughs> Lord, understanding how much it means that you're doing it for the life of someone else, you know, and truly understood like what that meant, you know, I think it would change their heart so much and understand that, like, okay, I'm gonna have to take a sacrifice for nine months because this isn't what I want for my life. And this is not where I saw myself. But if you're able to take that sacrifice, then you're doing it for something so much greater than yourself. Beautifully put. And that goes. And the thing is, you can give it up for adoption right away like you had the baby somebody else you can have somebody else pay for everything you have the baby and as soon as it leaves the room it could already be adopted and you didn't have to deal with it you, you, you didn't take its life you gave it to somebody else that couldn't have a baby right off the bat 